Hey, Square Pen Brigade. Uh, this episode you're really going to enjoy. We got Hannibal Barres on all kinds of shit. Uh, we have a few uh, technical difficulties. Um, Harry couldn't make it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We had a lot of fun with him. Me and Mara had a good, lot of fun with him. I hope you guys enjoy it, too. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> that's how he does it. Because last show he said, shout out to Ray Rice the whole show. So <laughs> wow. I think this is a step up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we weren't shouting out to Ray Rice, though. But uh, did you see that, Animal? Did you see the Ray Rice thing? I saw the clip of him, uh, yeah, dragging her out. Yeah. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did he just leave her? No, well, no, he I drug her, he, no, he, no, what happened was he knocked her out, but she spit in his face first, Hannibal. You know what I'm saying? And here's, here's what I want to say. I yeah. mean... You look like you've been around the block a few times. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've been around. All right, yeah. so a chick don't start out by spitting in your face. That's not the first thing she does. Right. Usually she calls you a faggot before that. Before that, she tells you you ain't shit. Yeah. You know, so this in order for this to escalate to 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 getting spitting in the face. KOs. Yeah, to getting knocked <laughs> out, spitting in the face. This is escalated. This has been escalated for quite some time. Not that I'm condoning to you know, not gonna bitch out. I'm just saying I understand. No, <laughs> I think I don't think he was trying to knock her out. He no. just probably didn't know his strength, and then uh, he got himself into a bad situation. <laughs> he is a professional athlete. Yeah, those are the superheroes of today. Black athletes and superheroes. They, they be like, "Where's the X Men? They in the <laughs> NFL, son. They all in the <laughs> NFL." So, um, you saw? Did you see it was some speed? The speed skating coach. Talked about how American football is dumb. Oh, no, I didn't see this. Because it's the, some of the best athletes, but they're in a game where the goal is to kill each other. <laughs> I, I didn't like, it. Oh. I, like, I, like, I like football, but he makes a good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Motherfuckers do be trying to kill each other. They trying yeah. to stop it with all the rules, but more importantly, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and um Hannibal, your thoughts? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal, you got a girl? You got I a do, girl? I do have a girl. You have yeah. a girl? Yeah. Yeah. That's a wow. And things are going good for you. Things are blowing up and you got a girl. Yeah. Damn. You know, I done bad the- choice. Oh, I just, who said it? <laughs> <laughs> and that was me, sorry. So sorry. Uh, you sound like your voice is deep. You I been know. smoking again? <laughs> <laughs> but how long you been with your chick? A little over a year. Okay, so this is fresh, fresh. Smoking yes. hot, smoking hot. Would you say smoking hot? I would, I would say smoking hot. Nice. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, I would say smoking hot. Here's the thing. Usually, if you got a girl and she's smoking hot, she's usually not interesting. Because why <laughs> would she be? Right. She's why actually, does she need to She's be? actually interesting. Really? That's why I've been, I wouldn't just keep her around. So you can't, so. Hot. You, can get a, you can get a hot girl anywhere. Yes, you can. But uh, well, a hot, interesting girl, is, is that's a, she's a keeper. Yeah. I, a unicorn. I, I, that's a, there's, a uni, there's always a, a exception to the rule, which is always amazing yeah. that that is the case. So, I mean, but, you know, it's just, it's hard. My point is it's hard for a beautiful girl to be interesting because everybody's trying to fuck her. So she thinks she's interesting and she's usually not. Oh, yeah, that is, that is stressful, man. My, my, I, my, ba- if we go out, my bathroom trips, the, the return is always, uh, it's a bummer. Because <laughs> if it's not dudes talking to her, then yeah, some yeah. dudes talk to her while I was in the bathroom. And she doesn't, she don't give them any, any rhythm or anything, but I still got to deal. You got to deal with, with this their, hair I come. Their, their, in, their energy is right. still around and yeah, shit. It's, just, they, you, you, it's like peanut butter. <laughs> and they, it's, just, it's like wading through it's peanut still, butter. It's still around, so it's still, so... It, 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 there are some uh, some struggles that 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 come. But with you that. you don't want a bitch that you could just leave. Like bitch, go. She be like, I'm hungry. Like bitch, go to the store. Take the alley. It's a shortcut. <laughs> Nobody's gonna bother you. Look at you. You don't you don't want that. No, nah, you don't want that. No. <laughs> you you want a bitch that somebody else is gonna try and hit on. Yeah, that. But then part of me sometimes I'm like, yeah, she bad and that's cool. And then sometimes I'm like, man, I get what the Muslims are doing with the burkas and all that. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's sometimes it's annoying. Yeah, God, it, damn. yeah, and dudes be, and they, and then, and then what they do is they judge you, 
based on whether or not you they think you should be with her or not. <laughs> like they, they, this motherfucker don't know what to do with that. Like, no, I do know. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was exactly following these three high school kids home. They were on my block, and mm. I could hear them. And they were, they were like, "Yeah, I told my bitch she had to go to community college because that's where the taking girls go." And I was like, <laughs> "No university for her." I was no. like, "That a way to be? Just uh, wow, let her just... not go to the university." So, wait, so so taking girls go to community college? That's what, that's what and they single decided. bitches go to that's what <laughs> I tried to give them a flyer to the and where you but... was in my neighborhood when this happened. <laughs> no, I was in Chelsea. Oh, geez. really? This is like this was a ten year olds, eighteen year olds. Taking bitches. You can't. That's... You can't progress. <laughs> that sounds like a Brooklyn statement. I was gonna yeah. be like, maybe you shouldn't listen to those. That shit. <laughs> little white kids too. Little really? white kids. Little white kids. <laughs> little wiggers. <laughs> I know. That's like... in Chelsea. <laughs> That's like uh, you know some Middle East type that's, stuff. That's, some, <laughs> that's that. That's the that's the Manhattan version of you can't drive. Women can't drive. You go can't to the go. university. <laughs> go to the university. You gotta go bitch. to communicate. You stay local. <laughs> you stay local. No University of Maryland for you. You are not smart enough to do anything past remedial math. <laughs> go to BMCC or uh, whatever. Is BMCC whatever? Who gives idea. a fuck? Queensboro. Um. So yeah, but I, I mean, I like I I had a chick that every time she would come to my house, Hannibal, some dude would follow her from the train station. Had a dude. chick or have a chick? Have a chick. <laughs> Follows yeah. the, to from the ever she's like she comes to my house. Yeah, the dude is at the gate while yeah. she's ringing the bell. Like yo, mom, saying, damn, yeah. she got a big booty, and and at her job. I heard jobs, a lot of motherfuckers that listen to this to the show yeah. and then they hate on her because I'm they listen to the show and they be <laughs> like, That nigga ain't never gonna marry you. But they they don't understand I'm trying to help people and instead of helping people, <laughs> instead of listening to my, my ultimate wisdom, they hate on her. Yeah. But in a, in in their defense, she do be like, "You ain't shit. You know who the <laughs> fuck my man is." <laughs> so they hate it because I'm a bad motherfucker, and they be just like, and she just puts it in the. They when they try to she just like she, when they try to talk to, her, she goes, she goes, "Are you talking to me? Do you know who the fuck my man is? You faggot." So <laughs> I guess it kind of breeds, the, it, it kind of breeds the hatred a little bit, right? Yeah. When you're that condescending, so. You know, but shout out to them if they listening, man. Just listen. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Like <laughs> Just listen to the show and help yourselves, and you can have a bad bitch too. Stop hating. <laughs> Make a baby like Greer. <laughs> but you know, let me give you. I want to give you. I don't know if you know what the the background of the show, the history of the show is. Uh, but yeah. uh, Patrice and I used to do this show yeah. on Opie and Anthony. We did like thirteen episodes, yeah. and basically Patrice went to b- went to uh, Brazil, and uh, and he realized that they wasn't selling pussy in, in Brazil; they were selling dreams. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so when he came back, he couldn't understand the attitude. Like, for instance, the prostitution in in Brazil is the the exchange of sexual favors is secondary. Like, yeah. if they like you, they will allow you to prostitute them, but like they will fuck you for money. But if they don't like you, they, you I mean, there will be somebody that likes you, but they like you specifically. So it's like, whereas in America. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So they take care of you. you know oh, okay, so that is uh, like a girlfriend. Yes, it's like they sell like it's they give they throw in a little extra jealousy. But they actually yeah. like you. They oh. like you, and then you, they. But now, if you have enough money, you can fuck anybody you want to fuck there, right? Yeah. But why would you when you could just fuck the prostitutes that like you, that are that are directly attracted to you? Did you meet one that liked you there? They really, you connected with? Well, I've never done, this was Patrice. Ah. See, I kind of lived that here, because I, I don't know, I was a male stripper for like 11 years. All right. And yeah, so it was like Br- Brazil here for me. Yeah. So I used to go in these places with like 2,000 women and I, I, I used to take, like, squares, like, my friends. I'd be like, yo, you should come. And they'd be like, I ain't going to see no men. But it'd be, like, 20 dudes stripping, and it'd be 2,000 women. And they, like, I had dudes where they came, and they just walked in, walked in with me, mm-hmm. crowded place, you couldn't even walk, and they'd be grabbing their dick and feeling on them. But when you going to strip and just pulling on their clothes, and then I'd get them to the dressing room. Yeah. 
and they and they would be traumatized. They'd be like, I was like, you want to go to the bar? They'd be like, no, I'm gonna just stay here. I'm, <laughs> like the chicks are so like aggressive. Yeah, they don't understand like that. Like a woman's sexual aggression when she's in it, when she's about it. <laughs> Two thousand <laughs> ovulating ladies. Yeah, yeah Yo, it was. Uh, <laughs> I was at the. I was in Milwaukee last night. And I was at the, uh, after the show, I went to the casino. I got cousins in Milwaukee. Right, right. And uh, me and one of my cousins at the crap table, and uh, one of my cousin dipped off. He comes back when it's just this bigger girl, probably, man, maybe 250, 300. Big girl. And, she, and uh, he was like, tell her that I can't really hang out. And she was like, you need to, you know, your cousin don't need you. She keep on, he, he keep on saying it. <laughs> He got to hang out with y'all. We could have been back to my place fucking already. He could have came back to the casino. And I'm like, I'm known chicks that are very forward and, you right. know, forward sexually, but it's just funny when she talking to me about <laughs> wanting to fuck him and they just met in the casino. It was just a weird energy. fucking around. We could have been fucking, fucking around. Fucking. We could have been fucked already. We could have been back to my place. He came. Y'all would still been at the craps table. <laughs> it was so weird, man. It's, I, well, let me ask you this. You think that that's, uh, that, that intimidates you? Dudes, though, like when a chick is that forward. Uh, no, nah, it was just because she because she was two hundred fifty. Yeah, <laughs> she just looked horrible on a regular on just a regular scale. On a scale of one to ten, she was a she was in the you know negative she, two. Nah, I won't go negatives because I'm a nice guy, but <laughs> but you was thinking negative. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, we ain't put zero on there, so that's what it is. But Point yeah, five. that that's what he said. It was just because she was uh she wasn't that good looking, but it was weird. She was where we could have been back. And she telling me. She's like, why won't he? I'm like, this is between y'all. <laughs> and he was trying to give you me the. You, you, I've had situations where big girls like that. Like was like, I used to, have, I used to, so I still work. For, I still got a day job, and I yeah. would go to the place and get a breakfast. But and there was just yeah. peaches. Peaches, the bus driver, right? So that already sounds like she's big, right? Yeah. And look, ladies, if you are 350 pounds, your name shouldn't have food in it. <laughs> Should be peaches or cookie. A cupcake, nothing. If you want to try, try a diet or something <laughs> low cal, <laughs> something Atkins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something <laughs> Atkins is a good name. Cause if your ass is three hundred fifty pounds and you drive a bus, first of all, leave me the fuck alone. So I was at the, I was at the getting like a breakfast sandwich, mm. and she's standing next to me, and she's like, mm. I'm like, is this bitch is eating caramel or what? She's like, mm. Yeah. Mm, you lift weights? I wanted to say not <laughs> that much, bitch. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And she literally grabbed. She grabbed my arms and yeah. she squeezed my arms. She's like, "You look like you lift weights." Yeah. <laughs> you all right? Wait, you have boned a big girl. You boned big girls before, like Never. on the reg. What four hundred and some pound? I, always a titty? No, that's everything? a joke. That was oh, one I of the one that jokes that is not true. No, I never <laughs> fucked a big bitch. I actually never fucked a bitch over a hundred and sixty pounds. Whoa. Never. I well okay one chick I fucking was oh wait hold on hold on <laughs> <laughs> but here is, let me okay you tell me if this is fair I was born I was in college I was born her roommate it was a threesome. And she put up through her fat roommate in, and she was about 180. You oh. have boned at 2,000 girls? About 2,500. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, I well, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the thing, but this is, I Your don't know if we're going to be friends off. after this. Because <laughs> here's what I was a male stripper for like 11 years. Yeah, right. We already and then I, I, I pimped for like seven. Um, and I. <laughs> A lot of, this is a lot. Of, I have a dark past. How old are you? I'm 47. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 47. I know I look young. Right? I look like, it's just like this nigga the same age as me. That's not possible to do all of that in one lifetime. I am actually uh, Benjamin Buttons. I am 860 years old. But uh, yeah, I'm 47. I, I, I used to... Which came first? The 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 oh, the, the... <laughs> No, the pimping was after the stripping. Yeah, you were well, like, I gotta get out of this shit. Well, it, no, actually, it was simultaneously. I got, really? Yeah, I got turned in. I got you like you, you know, you're from Chicago, so you know it's a lot of pimps in Chicago. It's a lot of pimps, but they I didn't have any friends that were pimps. I just knew about the world and I saw the documentary. I did have a friend. It was funny, man. I'm trying to think what New Year's Eve this was. Me and my cousin <laughs> were walking around. 
maybe it was, I don't know, 04 or some shit like that. Walking around New Year's Eve, and I ran into a, a friend, uh, this cat I knew from my high school. And, uh, and he was pimping? And he said, uh, he, said I, I, he said, what you been up to, man? I said, I've been doing this comedy thing. I said, what about you? He's like, I'm a pimp now. And then he pulled money out of his pocket, a bunch of money fell on the ground and shit. It was the weirdest way to run into somebody from high school. I'm a pimp now. That's, that's what he was doing. It was, was inspiring. It's yeah. tough in Chicago, too. The laws are tough. The pimping laws. The pimping laws. knows some laws. of the weirdest <laughs> shit. I like know. I, you know, sometimes you don't even want to ask her how does she know? <laughs> how you know the pimping law? Lo- oh, God. Anyway, I, read all those, I don't know. Why. All right, whatever. Um, Forget it. Let's drop, let's move on. <laughs> but <laughs> but I was I was stripping first, and um and then I I was somebody asked me I was, I used to like I used to bare knuckle fight like before Kimbo Slice and shit like that. So that's why I'm missing teeth and shit. What the, okay. I don't know. <laughs> so when was the bare knuckle fight? All the, I was the, doing it all the same time. Like I you should have sent me your bio before the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the things I need you to know <laughs> before you go on the podcast, so I don't have to explain it. Right? So you know what I when I just but you know it's and funny. I, I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? actually how we met because we did hiccup. And uh, he said, he goes, yeah, I slept with 13 girls at one time. And I was like, wait a minute, wait. And we were both guessing. It. I just turned to him. I asked him a million questions. I was like, I'm sorry, explain. It was not, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, it's not something I brag about because it was the circumstances that created the situation. You understand what I'm saying? What? <laughs> you, sound like, you sound like a rapper talking about selling drugs in his past. You know, I just did what I had to do to feed my family. But it's just, you know, selling crack isn't cool, but I just did what I had to do. But it's not, those are different situations. It was, it was a situation, I was, I was stripping, I was stripping, it just, it was just, they would, they come at you. Yeah. And if you don't, you don't, like, if you don't fuck them, they call you a faggot. Yeah. So you had to, you know, that's not why I really I fucked them, but it. I mean, you, if you get a chance, it's a challenge. Not, well, you know, if you get in a situation, there's 13 chicks. You perform for 13 chicks, and they. Well, it was me. Two also, it's a private party. Yeah, and it just hotel you know, type shit. Kennedy Inn. Shout out to Kennedy Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Our shout outs are so above bar. If we were, if we were sponsored by the motherfuckers, we'd so be you rich. know when it's 13 girls, they ran a train on you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> It's like one of them squirt bang gang bangs. <laughs> I'm just laying on the floor. Everybody's just fucking squirting on me. No, but they, they, it it was uh it was two other dudes, and it just fucking got like that. Yeah. So you when you and and I always tell this story how the uh well before we got there we was driving in the car and I was telling my boys I was like look y'all need to um look there's rules to this yeah and they were like all right all right good y'all listening right I go everybody gets fucked. You can't just stay with the pretty girl. You can't pick and choose. Anytime you get somebody comes, you bump into somebody, you stick a dick in them. You fuck them, whatever. You eat them, just you got to keep it going because the energy, once the energy breaks down, the whole thing breaks, then, then people's morality creep in. Uh, you look baffled. No, I got a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this was, so this was uh, pre- <laughs> This is pre phone shit too, right? Like what not pre phone stuff, pre filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was like it was a cooler nah, era. Nah, I had a cell phone, but it was a big ass cell phone. Yeah. It was a Mitsubishi. It was big as shit. It was yeah. like that. It was like big, like a VCR tape. It was this in New York. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever bump into? Just so I mean, you bump into these people all the time, right? Or they did? Or well, no. well, <laughs> like I will, like I used to, like because I I was keeping count. Of how many, you know, like how you keep the, your number of how many chicks you bone. Yeah. So I kept count until I was 32, right? At yeah. 32, I was at 1,400, right, oh at 32. God. But I would then I would be somewhere, and I would run into somebody, and they would be like, hey, how you doing? I was like, oh, shit, I forgot. I, remember. I would, like, run into people that I bone that I didn't know that I bone until I talked to them. So, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not proud of it. I had to do what I had to do to feed my family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it was kind of the, the environment was, yeah. was such. A, but that sounds like he, that comes from experience. Have you been bumping into a lot of girls that you've bound? No. It's, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
But not, not, it's not, my number is not that nah, crazy but, at all. But, I, I mean, yeah, but they, I mean, I didn't have that life, though, that job. Yeah, but the but job I'm, does it. Yeah, the, it's the job. The job does it just the same way that, uh, I mean, uh, you know, somebody that's performing would, you know, you probably run into people. more than you. Yeah, you meet right. more people. Right. You'll meet more people. And more women <laughs> in the environment. It's just like a sales gig. You meet more people, you more right. sales. You know what I mean? Right. So if you're a, a beekeeper, you get stung sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like working at a gym. Oh, All you those sting. people fuck each other. Oh, you sting, right? Yeah. What? In the gym, people. In the fucking. gym, yeah, oh god, yeah. Yeah. Look at all worked up, and everybody's just fucking. Everybody. I thought you was too. gonna say it's just like in the gym. You work out in the gym, you get in shape. No, you, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you do, how you many fuck. people actually get just in like shape? It, just like being a waiter. When you're a waiter, you just fuck other waiters, right? <laughs> yes. It's just. Oh wait. Well. <laughs> you know, Easier to fuck people that got the same schedule as you. That's I would <laughs> agree with. That's that. true. Right? You just finish washing the dishes. They clean up the tables. You, clean, yeah. you swept up the bread crumbs. You like, let's go. Why don't you just have come a nightcap s- suck my dick? Yeah. Right, why don't you come <laughs> suck my dick? Hey, you know what? That's a great idea. It's three o'clock in the morning. Nobody else is available. You don't have teeth. I have a dick. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I messed around with this bartender a few years ago, and she was the only girl that didn't feel disrespected when I hit her up at four thirty, because that's when she was off work. She was. You should have made a baby, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because that's when you. <laughs> he's like, no, because she was. That's when she got off. So yeah, that's she when almost, she got off. So it was almost like respect. She, oh, he's hitting me up. Oh, right? he this, knows. This my is happy. This is happy hour. He knows my. He knows my. Yeah, that's sweet. The way he remembers my schedule. No matter what happens, he knows exactly what my fucking work schedule is. And then on Thursday when she's off, you don't even call her because you know she's sleeping late. This, this is the thing about, this is what's great about this show. It it makes me realize what great people they are. Hannibal doesn't call a booty call on her day off. We just learned something about him. And that's just a sweet thing to do. Let us sleep. She needs her beauty sleep. <laughs> she needs a beauty. Well, I don't know. What did she need a beauty sleep? <laughs> oh no, I don't know about her. I don't remember her days off. But we just—it was one of those <laughs> things that just kind of faded off. I had a bunch of fling or this sort of thing like that that just kind of faded off with no. It wasn't like I called or they called. Like, hey, what's up? It was just we just stopped. Fucking just stopped around. fucking. Yeah, that never happened to me. Like yeah. it always is kind of not nice. When it when it splits up, it's always yeah. yeah, it's always always ends with a fuck you. I started thinking fuck you as a period, because <laughs> <laughs> that's how everything ends with a fuck you. But I don't know why. I mean, not I guess not all of them, but it's just like I don't because they liked you more than you liked them. Yeah, probably so. And they then thought they just, there was something, and you thought it was a fling. Here's here's <laughs> I like years ago I had a chick that I t- I took out. For like ten months, dated her for ten months, right? And I took her to seven. Are you talking about the six, six times you had sex? Girl? We had sex about seven times. Yeah, seven. that's not really ten months. That's just seven fucks. Yeah, but oh. we we spoke on the phone and stuff. Like I, I we would speak on the phone and stuff. Oh. Yes, yeah, because Mara's you gotta understand Mara's broken. So <laughs> what she, <laughs> she she's a broken soul. So what? it's just what it is. Which dude, which dude was it that sent you to the other side? <laughs> <laughs> it's a series of them. She's been married twice and shit. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. How old, how old are you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's been married twice and all kind of shit. Oh, just kidnapped. I got married. I, yeah, I was 28. Married. Thank you. You can stay um, <laughs> in my vagina. No, I. Uh... <laughs> Mara, Mara always finds a way to get more Twitter followers <laughs> somehow <laughs> on this show. She always. At Mara Merrick, <laughs> shout me out. I'll shout you out. <laughs> but this this chick was like, it was like uh, we had sex like seven times, and I took out the dinner and a movie. Yeah. Right. And she was like multiple orgasms, so she did like anywhere from three to five orgasms every time, right? So I always say, if a chick came to you, Hannibal, and said, "Listen, I mean, not now, because you're happily married and 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 monogamous, yeah. but if a chick, if a chick, <laughs> <laughs> if a chick <laughs> yeah. three years ago, three years ago, so if if a chick came to you and said, look, 
Hannah, I'm going to fuck you seven times. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you 21 orgasms, dinners and movies every time we come. Would you sign up for that? Yeah. And then she said, but after that 21th orgasm, it's over. Would you still sign up for it? I probably would, but then I would I would think, man, I would probably uh, be pretty sprung and do everything I could to get her on me. But you get the you get. Yeah, I get it. I would be. I would try to. I would either spend my time trying to get her, or just trying to find that. You be chasing that. You be chasing that. Here's here's why she was. For women, you don't always find good sex. Actually, like nine times out of ten times, it's fucking shitty sex. Well, so he, once you find that one person that's good, you're like, hold on. Yeah, but here's the thing. I she ended it. I didn't end it. It's because she was crazy. We don't know what we want to do. All bitches are crazy. <laughs> this is another thing you know about Beige Phillip. All bitches are crazy. Just What you think about that, Hannibal? <laughs> uh, I think. I mean, uh, there's an exception <laughs> to every rule, which would be a girlfriend, of course. <laughs> but other than I that. everybody, we all have varying levels of crazy. <laughs> I do crazy shit sometimes. I uh, One time, I was uh, before me and my girl were dating. I was I was on I was on Molly at my place and then I knew she was in Vegas and so then I just bought a ticket to Vegas and then just went there last minute and then and then it didn't and then it turned out she wasn't in Vegas she was on the way back to New York when I went to Vegas. <laughs> so you oh so you just broke out to Vegas? I just broke out to Vegas because I she told me she was there and I was like I'm a surprise her. this is before we were really, oh okay and then yeah. So that's crazy. Did you? See, nah, nah, I mean, you was trying to go see her. Yeah, that's not crazy. I think, but I didn't tell her. I just was popping up. Yeah, that's a good move. Don't see what the fuck she's doing. And then, so when I finally hit, she was already. I think we were in the sky going opposite, same ways, thing, opposite ways at the same time. Could have waved at her out the window. <laughs> she was on the wing. <laughs> and uh, that was funny because I was just, I just, in, I was just in Vegas. I had to spend the day in Vegas. I went. <laughs> oh and, shit! Where did I go? But I was, I was. I hate when that happens. I went and did watched the uh, Molly. Uh, no comment, <laughs> but <laughs> I did go watch the movie Looper in the Las Vegas theater in the best state possible. That movie is great. Uh, on Molly. You know? <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, well, that you, was crazy. That ain't really crazy, dog. I mean, you was trying to go see your chick. She wasn't my girl yet. Yeah, but you still, you dug on You was trying to make it your girl. Yeah. But clearly, you was like, roll, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You was pursuing it. So that's yeah. not really crazy. Yeah. Here's, uh, th let's just do crazy shit. Like, real. Imagine if a girl did that to a dude, though. Like, if she was just showed up in Vegas. You'd be like, bitch, what you doing in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I know. What the fuck you doing Girls here? are like, oh, my God, you came to Vegas. Guys are like, bitch, you <laughs> that's I don't want to stand at the beach. Imagine what? the feeling of uh, when I landed in Vegas and text the, hey, what's up? I'm in Vegas. And she hey. I'm in New York. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, <shit>. No, no. <laughs> shit, you had to stay in Vegas. Just one day, kicked it, looked up with a friend, a friend that was working at Harris. We hung out. Right. Uh, walked. Did around. She didn't get off at four thirty, did she? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, I just, no. I'm talking about a comic friend. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, Somebody yeah, yeah. just saw I wasn't yeah. walking around Vegas yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Just hung out with a comic, grabbed some food. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but right. it just, yeah, it was weird. That's that's not really crazy though. Like I, I can see, I can see me doing that, going to just check one chick. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Right. That's the craziest yeah. thing you've done. No, that's not the craziest thing I've done. What's the craziest no, thing? I don't know. Uh, craziest thing. It might and we pop talking up about later. chick wise, like like. <laughs> craziest thing I've done. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll we think do, of it later and interrupt the conversation. We do, we do, we do, <laughs> we do crazy shit, but we know we're doing crazy shit. Chicks do crazy shit and just not in the zone, just not, <laughs> and they just think insane as shit. Yeah, just like um, I I got a girl. She just like everything I talk to her about is me cheating. Yeah, it's me fucking another bitch. Like. I'd be like, yo, you know, I was, um, you're so fucking, we'd be talking about, I'd be like, yo, you fo so fucking selfish. you so fucking selfish. I said, you selfish, like, if somebody gave you a trip to the Bahamas and you was laying on the beach and you had to pay for your alcohol, you would be like, fuck this trip, right? Yeah. And she goes, did you go to the Bahamas with some bitch? I was like, <laughs> no. 
I'm just trying to explain to you how selfish you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm like if you know, like if somebody gave me a thousand, gave you a thousand dollars, and you complained because they was in small bills, right? Yeah. She goes, some bitch gave you a thousand dollars. I'm like, no, bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to explain how you selfish. Yeah. <laughs> Like if you, you know, like if someone gave you Super Bowl tickets and you got mad because you had to buy your own beer. She's like, you went to the Super Bowl with some bitch, didn't you? Shit. I'm like, no, you fuck. Just anything, anything I say is about something else. Yeah. Something else. I'm like, damn. I'm, Speaking of, Dante and I are not fucking. Yeah, we thanks, forgot to thanks. put that Yeah, we have to do that disclaimer. <laughs> we Everybody to thinks that. we're fucking. Everyone. Because, I because I'm <laughs> like an alpha dude. Like yeah. I'm real and alpha I'm broken. Man. And she's so. broken, and broken and vulnerable. Yeah, and be, no, but yeah. because new but, to the city. But here's what <laughs> <laughs> she just got off the off the bus at Port Authority. She gave her a place to stay. <laughs> Some 1970s music playing in the background. She's got a real suitcase, you know, the vinyl ones. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a roller. The belt strap around it. <laughs> so the, but they, here's what happens with her. The. Uh, but here's how, Nanable, this is how fucking alpha I am. Mara, her period, sinks with my bitch. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. How does that, she, how does that? Because you know how chicks sync up? Yeah, they sync up. Well, so she's a, she, they sync up through me. He grabs pheromones, and then I they, call him. I'm like, oh, this bitch. Because y'all do the show so much yeah, and talk so yeah, much. And yeah, she, and do then, a lot of shows. So yeah, I told him, if she fuck with me, I would just date new bitches and make her have a period all month. <laughs> 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 oh, wouldn't that be fun for you? <laughs> But here's here's what's crazy. We had a dude on the other day, and sometimes there's some of the dudes that we um. Here's here's what I wanted to know. You got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Like you on a couple of you like we got broads. What else you got going on right now? Where you're visibly on television, not just writing. Broad City is uh, awesome. I'm it on, is real uh, funny. Hilarious. Well, Are you writing for that too or no? Not writing, but I do a lot of the. It's a lot of improv on set for right. my characters. So, so you'll me, just go. Yeah, they let me. They will do it one or two times scripted, and then we'll kind of just and go. And then they and have use fun. yours. So you they need be, to get a writing credit, <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers. I guess, I, I do. And yeah, Broad City, the show Chosen on FX. Yeah. Eric Andre show. Yeah. And uh, y'all still doing? Is Eric doing his still? Because Eric's my dog. Like yeah. really, I love that dude. But um, is he still doing the talk show thing that he was doing at the? the the late night thing y'all were doing. Yeah, that, that still there. we about to start. We about to shoot th- season three in uh, May. That shit is insane. Yeah. It's so funny. It's, it's so show. fucking insane. And, but I mean, Eric is fucking crazy as shit. Yeah. I, that's what I love about Eric. You did the Adult Swim tour with Byron and Eric, right? Yeah, I did a few yeah. dates on that. Now uh, all this shit where you're visible, right? Right. Yeah. You got chicks is coming at you like crazy. Yeah. Because because you're visible. Yeah, yeah. So it's like. That's got to be fucking crazy. It's crazy, but it's not as, um, even now, it's not as exciting, you know? Is it annoying? Is it not annoying? annoying, but it's not as exciting as like, when I was just on a road. And I had a couple TV credits, and I was, say, I was on a road right, in, right. in 2010, you know what I mean? Yeah. A couple years ago, on a road. It's got a decent name, but... And right, it, but it, it was they coming at you, and you would. It and was it was new. just more. Yeah, it was new, and it was it was it's so now is is you can feel the 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 energy is different. So it's not as it doesn't move me the same way. Right, right. Like yeah, I, I mean it was because I've you know I've been on the road heavy for the past few years. So right. it's, so it's not the it's not as exciting. Right, you don't really give a fuck. This is just it's just like, it's fun. Just to, at you. Actually, it's just a lot of times it's just fun to just talk shit for a little bit and not even do just shit keep, keep it moving. Yeah, it's it's not it's no. Uh, yeah, it was way more fun like a few years ago just to to be out and about, just right. be on the road for the first time. And that, yeah, that was more fun. Now, you, you, now, like we get a lot of guys who who you know have problems picking up chicks or have chick problems and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I teach some of the pickup and some techniques and stuff like that. Yeah. But but um, a lot of them would go, well, you know, I don't have a nice car, I don't have no money, I don't have a job, and they, and and what what they don't understand is the reason why. I mean, there's some women that just gold digging chicks think you got money, but it more like more. It's more. They're more attracted to you because you're doing something 
Like your thinking is forward thinking and creative. Yeah. And you don't really give a fuck about them because right. you're trying to work and you're trying to move your career forward. And so the chicks was all they have to be secondary to that. So when yeah. it comes time to work you and so the fact that you you have goals and aspirations is what they're attracted to more than the prestige and the money and stuff like that. Yeah. But guys don't really understand that. They think it's the car, it's the money. Cause, but you could have a hot car, and you could have money, and, and the minute a chick thinks that you're a cornball, you know, she'll take your money, but she ain't going to stick around. Yeah. You know, so it's it's sort of the forward thinking of it, the focus of uh, what you're doing, being creative and having an interesting life, as opposed to just, you know, I guess – Money, making money. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, um, I, I guess what I'm saying is like, because I, I say to dudes also, you know, you get dudes who are on death row who... who got chicks. They got chicks. <laughs> they get a chick to fly across the country. Yeah. You on death row. If the <laughs> epitome of a dude, I say this, the epitome of a dude without a future is a nigga on death row. <laughs> he really don't that have a future. That is the definition <laughs> of, of it. Of I guess not- no... Yeah, There's nothing. Nothing else. This just... August. <laughs> Your future is to August, and they right. pull bitches. <laughs> so it's got to be about game more than it is. It's about game, and if it's not game, and even I think you develop. Now, were, were you always a dude that got chicks, or did you? No, not at all. Uh, I didn't, not really. And then getting into comedy helped. Mm-hmm. You know, on the early, I'm talking about on the early. Yeah, yeah. You know, nine, Coming up, middle act right. type stuff. Uh, but no, I wasn't. But then I learned that it was just about you know you try to be funny or make a laugh. It's all about that first that first interaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you can say something to a to a girl, but you know say something to get her attention right away, that's not a hey, what's up. You right. can do the way what's up, but if you can have something in the moment right, right. away to engage her, then that that always. Work better. So was yeah. it you? For, was it being funny more than anything for you? Or I think it was being funny and just you know a lot of times just getting when I started just being in the nightlife. Not nightlife, but just doing comedy shows and hanging out late. You hang out late, shit happens sometimes. <laughs> 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 so a lot of my early, I remember just shit. You just know, hanging out. Sometimes just, you just hang out late at the party, and you, you're the last one there. You the, you the straggling. Sometimes you hang out at the party. Everybody go into a room, and shit you're just like, start uh, going. I guess it's you and me. Like, this is going down. Uh, huh? <laughs> Uh, so, so you never had a you never had like a direction when you're like I'm 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 gonna be this dude who's gonna get bitches like that. No, not at all. And it, it, I definitely wanted girls, but I remember I look back like situations in in high school and situations early in college where it was obvious that a chick wanted to fuck, but I just didn't didn't even know. I didn't make no. I knew, but I didn't make the move. I just didn't. Like, oh, I just should have kissed her right then. So like the, the, the <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like the approach anxiety. Yeah, the approach where I just oh yeah, we were just chilling, we were just sitting in her room. Yeah, yeah I should have just started kissing her. I look back on stuff from when I was eighteen, nineteen. Uh, so that was that was just it. We just we was, one day we was talking to Shay, we was talking to Shay, yeah, uh, and Shay Shay was uh, had a, Shay, uh, Shay Michael Shay Michael Shay Michael Shay, Shay. Michael Shay. 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 and uh, and. Uh, um and he he comes in he comes in the club and he comes over to me like he, man uh man I think I blew a threesome yeah. <laughs> a foursome a, was it a four a foursome it was three chicks or two chicks well the two chicks I think wanted to but there was another girl there and like you said you can't leave one out so right right there well, was there, it would have been a foursome but they sit they they invite him in the the bedroom and they were like let's get some drinks. So it's like t- two chicks sitting on the edge of beds, mm-hmm. pouring him drinks, and he and he goes, "Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna go now." I have to <laughs> right. get to a show, so I gotta, uh, so I'm gonna get going. And I and so came, about that just happened recently. That, well, he came right to the club, a yeah. show, yeah. That. But he came to stand up, and he was like, "Yo, I think I," and I go, "I go." I was like, what the fuck do you do? Like, when does a chick have you in her bedroom and her friend? He goes, I think I, I think I might. No, you did fuck up a threesome. They was yeah. trying to get you. <laughs> he said, let me text her. Let me tell you. Damn, they always, uh, you know, once the moment is gone. Yeah, it's it, the moment. Yeah, you, know, you got to hit it. You got to hit it when it happens. Yeah. 
No, I definitely had a lot of those in college and uh, early twenties. Oh yeah, what was I? What was I doing? All I had to do was say this or just <laughs> pull it to the side and say some little shit. But, now, what about what about white girls? White girls liked you in college? Uh, you know, I didn't even get that many girls in college, but it was yeah. I I can see white chicks going after you. White chicks, uh, you know, it's funny. Before, I, when I was still a virgin, there was this cat that uh, it was this older cat, like thirteen, fourteen. He was like, the older dude on the block. Right, he right. Was, he, me, he was 18. Right. And we, well, we hung like, out with him. The older one was 13, 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was the older dude. His cat, Jamal. We would hang out with him because he'd drive around. And he, we, you know, so we for him and shit. Now, I remember what, out of nowhere, he was like, hey, Hannibal. And this is, I hadn't had a girlfriend yet. He said, right. like, hey, Hannibal, you seem like. You seem like you're going to fuck a lot of white girls. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 13 or 14, like, what do you mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I just repeated what Jamal said right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> but I don't know what the vibe is. I Like, you don't always understand the vibe. Yeah. But a, a thing is, I think it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you're an intelligent dude. and and. Have you ever gotten got? What do you mean, gotten got? Like, Chick, break your heart, fuck you over. Uh, I wouldn't say no, not really. And that's it. Was, it's been chicks that I wanted to smash again that didn't get back. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I would call that heartbroken. <laughs> Nobody that you. So you, you really been like, well, how long you been about this comedy thing? In comedy, I've been doing comedy since I was nineteen, twelve years. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. So so it's like really that's been your focus the whole time. Man. That's been my I mean, yeah, as a grown up yeah. yeah, I haven't really done any I I've had, you know, short term yeah. jobs in Yeah, that yeah, t- just but, to survive but, but never But nothing I mean, I haven't had a regular job for more than a couple months. It was just been just the, comedy or struggling or, Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So yeah, it's been comedy the whole time. Yeah, I um you know, it's it's like I I think that's another thing is just kind of having that that forward focus. Yeah. So you know, like, because when as soon as you said, "Did you ever get got?" Like, whenever a dude has had that kind of pain, when you say you ever he's get like, got, oh, then he goes, oh damn, nigga, you, uh, they feel it. Yeah, they go back there as soon as it is. So as soon as you was like, that, I was like, nah, he ain't never, never really, you know, get your feelings hurt like that where you're bitter or fucked up or or just now. Did you because you didn't get a lot of girls when you were younger, like yeah, I guess high school and stuff like that. Yeah. Did that make you bitter or? No, it wasn't. I don't think it was bitter. It was just more. No, I wasn't bitterness just because after when I got a little bit older, I realized it wasn't because of me. It was it was just because of I didn't. I you didn't really pursue it. Yeah, I wasn't being proactive and, okay. and just and just going about it. And especially, you know, if you're talking, and I, I look back on my college experience, like, oh yeah, it was. It was really easy to to fuck yeah. in college. If you I had a couple situations in college, but it was real easy to fuck. I mean, you had the dorm. Man, we had co-ed dorms. Yeah, yeah, you know, you and it was girls right across the hall. It was just about being about it. So no, I wasn't. I don't think it was bitterness. It just wasn't about it, and you kind of yeah. realized you wasn't about it. Right? Yeah, but there definitely, you know, I had some road periods of. Uh, Making up for lost time. Yeah, we put put some, <laughs> put some numbers up. It's just funny because it's funny how that that uh, like we had a the older dude we I had on this block was this the I grew up on this block. Yeah, and uh, there was a dude named Walter. Yeah, it's really all of my hoeing is his fault when you get down to it. I'm not taking any responsibility for it. I you was shouldn't. You shouldn't. I'm be not. It's, I was 11, and this dude he had like. Maybe fifteen of the hottest chicks I ever seen. Like we yeah. used to play stickball and football, t- two hand touch football, and Coco Livio on the block and shit yeah. like that. <laughs> Kick the can, and he would bring this. Some it would always be some bad bitch that came down the block, and we would stop playing. Like we mm-hmm. would s- time out and just watch, right? And just watch her come up. And sometimes they would they would talk to us. They would be like. Um, do you know Walter? And we were like, yeah. We were like, yeah. We just be fat ass and titties, Asian chicks and Arab chicks, black chicks, white chicks, just an array of bad bitches. And they would walk up the stairs, and we watch them walk up the stairs. And uh, and they were like, do you see Walter? Well, he should be. We were like, no, he didn't get home yet. She was like, okay. And they would sit on the steps, and we would just. Watch. And I remember being like, I was like nine. Yeah. And I was like. 
someday I'm gonna, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Walter. Yeah. And and uh and I was the I was like, I'm gonna wait till I'm married. That's what you want? I did. I didn't How'd that I work didn't out? fuck in college at all. How'd that work out? Uh well um well here I'm here today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I you know, so that was like a real like chicks was a focus for me. Yeah. Like from the very be- from the inception, I was then I used to hang out with older dudes, and they were like, "Yo, if you don't go down," I was like, "I was like 11." They was like, "If you don't eat a girl's pussy, she could be taken." And so now that's what they were. That's what they were teaching you. Yeah, because I remember. I mean, even before I was fucking, I remember cats being like, "No, it oh, was don't, a, it was a not thug, eat pussy. Don't eat pussy, man. If you eat pussy, that fuck no, nah, I ain't doing. Nah, they was, do that shit. They, so they was preaching it. They was like, "You gotta eat. If you don't eat your girl's pussy, she could be taken." <laughs> but these dudes were like. Like, they weren't really street dudes. They were, like, dudes going to college. Yeah. Like, they were all guys, like, their parents, like, middle class, and they were they were going to college. I don't know if that makes a difference that middle class motherfuckers eat pussy and thugs it, don't. Or it was I, grown up shit, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess so. And then, and then, and I remember trying to convince, like, like when you're nine, what, that's, that's fourth grade, right? So fifth grade, 11 is sixth grade. So now I've got this little sixth grader girlfriend and I'm French kissing and trying to tell her I need to eat a pussy with a little pissy panties. And I'm like, you, I got to eat your pussy. When you were uh, how old? Like 11. I was trying to eat, eat a pussy. She and was then like, what she say? She what? was like, why? <laughs> 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 and I didn't really have an answer back then. I was like, I don't know. I just, I got her. So I got her. <laughs> she was like, but Why? I heard an older person say it. It's, what that's that? what I mean it is. Yeah, imagine how, yeah you're, so, you're young, so you just heard something. This is what life is. This has gotta it got to be, be the truth. It's got to be. That, I mean, I looked up to them, and, you know, I mean, I was like, I'm trying to eat some pussy. <laughs> that's, I we grew up the same. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we are so much alike. Like, we sometimes so you can't alike. even tell the difference between me and Mara so because we look so much alike. Because our grow life. Up in Chicago? I did. Yeah. I grew up in Rockford, Michigan. Big, 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 town. There's a lot of pimps in Shot town. How could you not run into pimps? Cause I mean, I just, I guess they weren't pimping over there. Uh, what part of Chicago? The west side of Chicago. Uh-oh. Uh, so the pimping was happening on like Cicero was known as the. Okay, yeah, yeah. But you didn't still even I don't, you didn't bump into pimps or you didn't go to. I didn't go to the you clubs didn't go to the they went to. Bowl. <laughs> yeah, maybe my pops bumped in or was at those joints of my uncles. Yeah, who probably knew them type of cats, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't really know no uh, pimps and shit. That's, I knew some. Yeah, that was like such a a, a focus. Like that, my whole focus was. I don't even know if I wanted ass as much as I wanted. Like uh, as you that, wanted I, to control it. Yeah, just, I just I, wanted to be. A, yeah, wanted to be. I no, want, wanted to be known as getting ass. Yeah, and I wanted to get ass. Like I just like I always like girls. I yeah. like who I hurt like, you? I like <laughs> nobody. I just wanted. I like titties. I still like titties. I liked how girls smell. I like to be with them. I like they, everything. This yeah. they smell good. So all of my friends were all of my teenage friends were were fucking. Yeah, my friends. When did you lose your virginity? It was 18. You were late. It was late. And and my friends were fucking, like... By know, 18 or before that? Before that, like, my friends in high school were fucking... My, one of my good friends was fucking my next-door neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> like a lady? Like the, your name? Like yeah, a lady? Yeah, yeah. T- no, not a neighbor. No, no, it's uh, she was a, yeah, oh, she was a girl. Yeah, yeah but... Yeah. And then one across the street. But, yeah, so my friends were... Bonnet. There was one time uh, I t- told the story on stage once, but I don't even think it, it won't work as a regular stage story. But uh, it's uh, a <laughs> so it was this girl. <laughs> and I'll leave her name out. This is called a <laughs> Michelle. Let's call her just. This is called a Michelle. All right. And so uh, my, I think a couple of my friends already hit her before. And so we over another. We went over one of cat's house and. Uh, they, it's a train. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's four of us. Right. And everybody went in one by one, and I hadn't fucked before. I go in, and I'm just going in 
because it just seemed like the shit to do. Right, like, right. Yeah, what's going on? I'm, whatever, 15 or something. Like, yeah, what's up? Uh, and then... Trying to sound like you confident about this <laughs> shit. Yeah, right. just like, yeah. And and she just got ran through right through. She was like, nah. Oh, when you went in, she <laughs> When just... I went in, she said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you think... Why do you think it was? I don't know, but I was whatever, 15, 16, so I was like, uh, all right. Now, were the rest of them like 15 too, or they were older or younger? They, they were right around my age, maybe they, a year uh, older, but yeah, everybody, was, was, we were the same age group. So she got standards on you? She threw standards <laughs> on me, the last dude, she was like, mm, nah. nah. Okay. <laughs> and I never, I mean, I didn't have a plan beyond that, so I was like, all right, well, thank you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time. Step out of the room. And they did they did ask someone you, go well, in after? They're just like no, nobody was after. I was oh, the last okay. one. I was last out Maybe of four. Maybe she just was dry. Did they ask I mean, you or no? <laughs> did they? I remember them thinking like, "What happened?" I was like, "Man, I tried and she didn't say shit. She wasn't." I mean, I, yeah, I don't remember the post conversations, but it was that was a funny one. See, I'm I, probably glad that I, I didn't go in that. Actually, <laughs> it probably did us both a favor. <laughs> Her, <laughs> both of our psyches. That's how I, I actually lost my virginity to the to the to the town hall yeah like the yeah she was she uh, i was 11 and they were older and they were kind of running up in this chick on a regular and they was like yo fuck shorty yo you gotta fuck shorty and yeah. i used to go them because my mom used to babysit them yeah. so my mom babysit them even before i was born they were like a generation up a little half a generation up and so they my mom used to let me hang out with them yeah. till like one two o'clock in the morning i was like 11 i can hang as long as they i was at their house and they used to walk me, they right around the corner, and they used to walk me home. Yeah. Like, oh, we got to walk them home. But they was like, yo, you got to fuck shorty. This is like the notebook. <laughs> I, I don't know if the notebook was like this, because we, we used to just be watching, we used to watch porn, and porn with a projector. Like, you had to thread the projector and shit. <laughs> and, uh... And and so that's what I, that was my that was like my sexual indoctrination was just yeah. like pornography. So I was like, so I went in. I was like, eating pussy, fucking finger popping, and yeah, or like whatever I saw. That's what I saw. That's why I'm all fucked up now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it just was it was a it was a way ahead of the game. And then so when I when I like so after that. It was a period of time where I didn't have sex, and then I got a. Uh, I was in high school my freshman year, and I got a girlfriend in freshman year, and I started fucking again. And she was a virgin, and then I just practiced everything. Yeah. For like two years, just I had all kinds of dirty, like bondage and hot wax and butt plugs, and I had all kinds of dildos and shit. I was I used to go to the fucking sex store and buy dildos. And, used to. Um. Yes, we went, we, went to, <laughs> we went to like three sex shops together once, and everybody was like, Yo, Dante! <laughs> 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 Dante! <laughs> You got, you, you, you got your 10 punches on your card. You get a free one. You get a free one. Why you want some lube? You need batteries? What do you need? I went. I went to the sex shop one time, and the dude wanted to talk to me about because he, uh, he was getting fired. He was like, "Yo, can I talk to you for a minute?" And I was like, "Yeah." Like, nigga, we. I just buy lube here. I don't know. We're not friends. <laughs> and this, <laughs> I got, heard you got the link on the stripper gigs. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, "Yeah, man. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be here." Another, I'm thinking I'm gonna quit because uh, you know my medical. But he was like really confiding in me, and I was like, "Nigga, all I do is buy lube and batteries in this motherfucker. We ain't <laughs> friends." This nigga was really friend, confiding man. in me, Whatever, like ever. Yeah. You friend everybody. <sighs> you care. I didn't care, but I acted like <laughs> I care. I was like, "Man, that's fucked up." Uh, Dudes, we do not. Ex we don't like being dumped on, man. Yeah, emotionally or just. People, in general, in general, especially by strangers. Yeah, Ugh. this dude was like really. He was really like, "Yo, let me come outside for a second. I'm like, I've like, never seen this nigga behind the, from behind <laughs> the counter ever. You didn't even know he had legs. I didn't know because the girls help you. They were like, "Where can I help you?" But the nigga stands behind the counter, so I was like, "What the? Yeah. This nigga really likes me." Uh, like people reveal so much shit to my girl like right away. People don't do that to me because I, I my my basic face is 
my default is stoic. <laughs> Even though I'm in a good mood, my default is just angry. Which right, is right. fine, which means people don't feel the need to tell me about all this shit they got going on. Uh, but they will just tell her she just got eyes and she's just, she's hot. She looks she, interesting. And she's nice too. Yeah, yeah. Approachable. And people just start just giving her everything right away. And so it'll be people I've known for years that they'll I she'll find out shit about them in five minutes. Right. She'll be like, did you know Rebecca used to be addicted to heroin? No. <laughs> no, not at, <laughs> not at all. She never told me anything. <laughs> she never told me. In <laughs> fact, like she doesn't really speak to me. <laughs> she we talk a little bit. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Okay. How you doing? Yes, yeah, a lot whatever. of snow. Talk uh, about comedy or whatever, <laughs> but I didn't know she used to be addicted to heroin. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs>